We're going to take a look at the ways we can create bookmarks within our PDF document. This is the file guide start.pdf, which is located in the working files. If we open the bookmarks panel, we can see that this document has no bookmarks whatsoever. Now this is a 12 page document. And as we scroll through, we can see quite a bit of content. We can go through this document and we can start creating bookmarks one at a time. Pick a spot, create a bookmark. And the way that we do that is by navigating to the page where we want the bookmark to link. With the bookmarks panel open, we can simply click this icon to add a new bookmark. It appears without a name and we can type in the word welcome. And this bookmark is now assigned to this page. If we scroll down to the next page, we can click the welcome bookmark and it takes us right back to page one with the view showing as when we created the bookmark. If we go down to page two, we might want to create the next bookmark for the herons section. We can click new bookmark once again to add this bookmark, but here's a shortcut. If we're using the selection tool, we can highlight this text and with the word herons selected, when we click new bookmark, the text is automatically placed for us. We can press enter and we have another bookmark. We can click these and jump back and forth from page one to page two. And we can see that these bookmarks navigate us to the corresponding page just as we intended. Now we can go through all 12 pages of this document, creating our bookmarks one at a time, creating bookmarks for every section, subsection, and image. And this can be quite a long and tedious process. But of course, there are much easier ways. Since this document is coming from another authoring application, we have the ability to create the bookmarks within that original application and have them created on the fly as the document is converted to PDF. For example, this document was created in InDesign. And if we look at the original document in that program, we can see the document layout looks just as we see in the PDF. If we look closer, and this is very important, Paragraph styles were used when this document was created. For example, the text herons, where we just created a manual bookmark, we can click here and we can see in the paragraph styles dialog box that this is using the headline paragraph style. If we scroll down and we click on description, we can see that this is using the sections paragraph style. And if we click here on the captions, we can see that these are using the caption paragraph style. So we have headlines, sections, and captions all set up in our InDesign document as paragraph styles, and that is the first step towards creating bookmarks. What we can do within InDesign is to choose Layout and then Table of Contents. Now, we don't really want a table of contents in this document, but we need one to create bookmarks. So the first thing that we'll do within this table of contents dialog is to choose the paragraph styles we want to include as bookmarks. We want headline, so we'll select it and choose add, and it appears here on the left. We also want the sections, so we'll click this and add it as well. And finally, we'll add captions. Notice the indentation here. You may need to click more options if you don't see this section at the bottom, but here we can see an indicator of the level of the table of contents item. We can see headlines are level one, sections are level two, and captions are level three, but we really don't want captions to be level three, so we'll change them here to level two as well. So here's our bookmark structure, and wherever we've used these paragraph styles in the document, that will create bookmarks for us automatically. We'll click on OK, and we see that our cursor is now loaded with the table of contents. Now we have to place this somewhere, but since we don't want it in the actual document, we can drag out a frame off to the side of the pasteboard in a non-printing area. Now we have the table of contents, and if we open our bookmarks panel, we can see that bookmarks have now been created. If we export this document, as we saw in an earlier video, by choosing File, and then selecting Export, we'll save to the desktop and click on Save. Here in the Export dialog, we must check this box to include bookmarks in the export. We'll click on Export, and we can see the job running in the background. We'll go to the desktop, and we'll open this file. Now if we look in the Bookmarks panel, sure enough, 
we have bookmarks in all the locations based on our paragraph styles. So this is a great and easy way to get bookmarks into our document all at once from the authoring application. We have the same capability within Microsoft Word. Here we have a version of the same document that's been imported into Word from a PDF file just as a demonstration. You'll find this file, guide.docx, is also in the working files in the Chapter 6 folder. If we look at the various text sections of this document, we can see that we're using Heading 1 for the main sections and Normal Text for the body text. We're using Heading 2 for the second level sections, and in the captions of the images, we're using Heading 3. If you recall from an earlier video, when we create a PDF from Microsoft Word, and by the way, this is Windows only, this is not available on Mac, we can go to the Acrobat tab and click on Preferences. And within Preferences, we have a Bookmarks tab. And here we can choose to convert Word headings and styles into bookmarks. This automatically converts the heading styles and converts them into bookmarks on the fly. And we can adjust the level here as well. Recall that we wanted captions, which were Heading 3 style, to be Level 2, not Level 3. So we can change that here. We'll click on OK to save this setting. And then we can go ahead and create our PDF, which again will generate a document with the bookmarks intact. So we'll click to save this on the desktop and we'll call this guide word.pdf. When we click Save, we can see that our bookmarks are intact in this document. So now we have our bookmarks in Acrobat, and we can test them out using the file that we created from InDesign. As we click through, we can see that the bookmarks will take us to the pages that we've designated. But when we click on the subheading bookmarks, they also simply take us to the same page view. We need to be able to modify these bookmarks and direct them to specific page views, and we'll learn how to do that in the next video.